What is up everybody? It is me, Crypto Cole, back again with another video. If you want to know how you can make anywhere from $7 to $15 in a day playing an online video game called Axie Infinity, make sure you watch the end of the video, and without further ado, here it is. Alright guys, before we get into any of the crazy stuff that has to do with Axie Infinity, I think we should just talk about the two cryptocurrencies that Axie Infinity uses. Axie Infinity uses AXS, which is the Axie Infinity price. It represents how Axie Infinity is doing. So if Axie Infinity is doing really good, so will AXS. So right here, you can see it's at $69.61, which is not that bad. Right here, we have SLP. SLP is what you get paid with, so when you win battles, you get SLP. It, it ranges from how much SLP you get every single battle win, so if you're farther in, you can get a couple SLP if you win. If you're in the lower levels, you're not going to get as many. I'm in the lower levels, so I get around 4 SLP to 5 SLP every single time I win. Now, we're going to talk about how much it is to buy an Axie Infinity team. Alrighty guys, here we are in the Axie Infinity Marketplace, and we're going to be talking about buying your first Axie Infinity team. Now when you buy your first team, you should 100% take into account the metas that are going around Axie Infinity. Now, when you're buying your team, do not let Ethereum going crazy stop you. So if Ethereum prices are going all over the place, don't let that stop you from buying your first Axies. So, taking that into account, we're just going to think about looking right here and looking at these Axies. Now, you might be asking, why don't I buy these axes right here that are super cheap? Why is everyone saying Axie Infinity is so expensive to get into? Well, if you guys don't even know this, Axie Infinity costs about $1,000 to get into if you want a standard team like I have. So, when you buy your team, it's going to be about $300 to $350 per axis. So, it's going to be kind of pretty expensive to get into. You could, On the alternative, you could also get a scholarship in Axie Infinity and have someone give you Axies so then you play for them and you give them 60, 40, or 50 percent of your profits every single day. So, right here we have these Axies right here and the reason you wouldn't want to buy these Axies in particular is because these setups aren't the greatest. Now, a uh, setup like this, let's see, alright, so this setup right here is a okay setup but you would want to change out the cards a tiny bit and I don't know the exact aqua meta but you would want to change out the cards just a bit I, 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 I would assume because I don't see this setup a lot and also this whole thing right here isn't the greatest and also it's 2 out of 7 breed count and its stats are insane that's like crazy stats like don't don't get this axie if you're looking to breed we're going to be talking about breeding later in the video but just don't get that axie Anyway, that is just what you should take into account when you're buying your first team. Don't let the Ethereum prices stop you. And do not, do not, do not buy these front page axes. Because if you're going to buy axes, you might as well buy the more expensive ones. Because it takes the same amount of time to get your money back. And you're going to get more money once you get that money back. So if you guys can make that initial investment and buy your own axes, go right ahead. But if you don't have the money to buy your own axes, then just get a scholarship, uh, play for someone, they're going to give you their axes, and then you're going to play for them every single day, and you're going to give them a portion of the profits that you make. And remember, you're making all this money from just playing a video game, so it is pretty awesome. So that is what you have to think of when you're buying your first team, and on to the next part of the video. Alright guys, now we're going to be talking about the Axie Infinity metas. Now, I think I should just let you guys know, I am not an expert on the Axie Infinity metas. I don't do all the research for all the best metas. I just think I like playing Axie Infinity, and I like finding other crypto games to play with. So, the metas I know about are Plant Bird Beast meta, the Plant Aqua Aqua meta, and the Plant Bug Reptile meta. Now. The Plant Bird Beast is a super well-rounded team, but I don't know if it should be your first choice of axes. Now, it is a go really good beginner set, but it's not going to last you in the long run. In the long run, you should be looking for something more like the Plant Aqua Aqua and the Plant Bug Reptile. And these Plant Aqua Aqua and plug Plant Bug Reptile are pretty similar price ranges from the plant bird beast so 
if you do a lot of your own research before buying your axes and you figure plant aqua aqua or plant bug reptile is a better choice for me go right ahead and buy those axes so all I know is plant aqua aqua is a very very high damage um, based Axie Infinity team. Now, when I play Plant Aqua Aquas in Arena Mode, I personally think, oh no, here we go again. I have to play this super high damage Axie team, and it's going to be super difficult to win, and I'm probably going to end up losing. So, if you're going to go heavily into Arena Mode, I would think about getting the Plant Aqua Aqua. Same with the Plug, I mean, Plant Bug Reptile. Those are very good Arena teams, so you should think about getting those. Now, we're going to be talking about Axie Infinity Breeding. Alrighty guys, first thing we're going to talk about before we go over anything else that has to do with breeding is we're going to talk about the breed count. So the breed count is this number right here and if you want to see all this information you just have to go to the Freaks Axie extension down in the description below. You download that, it will show up right here and then you just enable it. Alright, now what the breed count is, is basically the number of times the Axie has bred. So if the breed count is zero, the Axie has never bred with anything, any other Axies. If the breed count is three, it's bred with three Axies, or maybe one Axie three times. Now, the breed count is really important because it determines how much money you have to spend on your Axie when you want to breed them. So right here, as you can see, this chart right here tells you how much SLP it will cost per Axie when you breed them. That is because per axie, because if you bred a zero breed with a one breed, it's not going to cost 300 SLP. It's going to cost 450 SLP. So right here, you can see the chart. It just lets you know how much it is every single time. And once you get past four, uh, the fourth breed, it gets pretty expensive when you want to breed them. So most people hit four when they breed their axes and then just stop. Now, when you breed... Right here, as you can see, breeding and actually cost AXS and some smooth love potions. Now, like we said earlier, AXS is about $70, and AXS is super, super expensive when you have to use four of them to breed. That That's right. It costs four AXS every single time you breed your Axie one time. So it's going to cost 20, 280 bucks every single time you breed an Axie plus the SLP cost so that is quite a bit of money so SLP since SLP price is dropping it is costing less and less to breed but the AXS is going up so it's just coming back every single time it goes down right here as you can see we have our axes now I am recording a separate from the rest of the video from the rest of the video so there are cheaper axes up right now and right here you can see that if I hover over this, you can see the purity, and then you could also see the price. I mean, the prices are on axes are dropping, and Ethereum is stabilizing. So if you want to buy your axes, you might want to do it now because it's coming pretty cheap to buy some good axes. So, or you might want to wait and just check it out. But it's really up to you. Um, so just you got to know what you're doing when you want to buy your axes. Now, right here, you can see that we have when I hover over the percentage right here it shows me the DNA so the DNA is basically when you want to buy an Axie or breed an Axie you want to look at the DNA now this is already bought because it's a super cheap Axie and it has some pretty good cards oh this is a pretty actually a pretty good Axie whoever got this had that as a steel man that's a good Axie so Right here, as you can see, when you're breeding axes, you want to have two of the same axes that you're breeding, and you want them to breed well. So, I mean, you want the breed count to be zero, and you want the DNA to be specific. So, what I mean by specific with the DNA is, if you wanted Koi, you would want Koi to be on all three of them. So, if you wanted Koi 100%, and you, like, Koi was the only thing you cared about, and you didn't care about any of the other things you got on your axie, you would want Koi to be in all three DNA lines. Now, what the DNA lines are is basically this right here is like 37% uh, of, has a, gives it a 37% chance of it happening. So anything in the D trait line has that percentage chance of happening. R1 is like 9 point, 
3.725. R2 is like 3.75. And those are basically how much, what the percentage chance of it happening is. If you have coin, all three of them, all those percentages add up to where if you get another Axie that has Koi Koi Koi, you're basically getting Koi every single time. So that is why you would want something like that when you're breeding your Axies. And that is essentially the basics of Axie breeding. So if you guys want me to make an in-depth tutorial on this, just let me know. And we're going to go on to the next part of the video. Alrighty guys, real quick. Just listen to this because I want to get through this quick. So... Basically, how I play for the day is I go to Adventure Mode, I play this level 12 times, which bring, brings me to 48 SLP. I go to Arena Mode, and I play as many times as I can in Arena Mode. I go back to Adventure Mode, and then I play Cactus, and then I go, I try getting my 5 Arena Match wins. And once I do get that, I'll already have my 10 Adventure Level completions, and then I'll just do my daily check-in, and then I'll get my SLP. So that's basically how I play for the day. And how I said earlier how I said like you can make a bunch of money from us uh, playing a super if you wanted to play in the long run and make a bunch of money then you play arena mode as many 20 times you go to adventure mode and then you play that 25 times you play cactus 25 times and then you collect your quests and then that is gonna get you about 120 SLP a day but one thing I forgot to mention is when with arena mode the higher your rank goes up the more slp you get a day from doing that so in arena mode when you your enemies rank determines how much money you get from winning so if your enemy's rank is from like 100 to 1100 or something i'll put a link in the description to a video that explains all of this but the ter depending on your opponent's rank, that's how much SLP you get. So if you have an opponent that level is like 1500, so if you face someone that was up here, you'd be getting 16 SLP every single time. But if your opponent's level is 15, is uh 1500 trophies at least, you're going to be getting 16 SLP every single time you beat them. So that is why arena mode is such a big deal. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can watch that. But I just want to let you guys know that you can make a lot more money if you get an arena team other than my team. So I'm thinking I'm either going to sell my characters right here or give them out to a scholarship to someone. I'm thinking about it. We're trying to figure it out still. But we're going to be doing something with these axes right here. We're either going to sell them or get a scholarship. And then we're going to see what happens and goes from there. Next season, I'm definitely going to be focusing on arena mode. So if you guys want to follow me through my journey on that, then make sure you subscribe. And uh, let's head on to my 10 to 15 second time maps. Alrighty guys, so that was my entire session of me playing Axie Infinity. And as you can see right here, I, I did all the math, I got 85 SLP, I multiplied that by 0 0.17, or 17 cents, which is what the price of SLP was when I was playing, and I got $15, or to be exact, $14.45 from playing Axie Infinity, a video game, mind you, I got $15 from playing a video game. Alright guys, from that entire session, we got 85 SLP, so we're going to multiply that by 0 0.17, which is the price of SLP. And we got $14.45 from playing a video game and watching TV. That is absolutely insane that you can make that money from just playing playing a video game and watching TV. Now, let's just say we did the long strategy that takes like an hour and a half longer to do. And we got uh, one, 120 SLP, yeah. And we multiply that by 0.17. That comes out to $20.40. So... We got that much money from playing a game. Now, like I said earlier, and I talked about it, you could get a lot more SLP for playing, uh, what is it, playing arena mode. So you get a lot more money for playing arena mode, and let's just say, on average, you got, so, so let's just say you got 195 SLP a day, and we multiply that by 0.17. That comes out to $33.15, and that is not a lot of time, actually. That's the same amount of time 
as this would have taken me the same amount of time that it would have taken me to do this. And that's double the money from arena mode. So playing arena mode can get you a lot of money. And on top of that, if you had enough axes to get 60, what is it? 60 energy from playing. So if I open up my Axie Infinity here, right here, as you can see, if you get 60 energy, you can make, let's just say you got half of that would be spent on uh, winning and then you got 12 SLP every single time you won. So you'd get 30 multiplied by 20, uh, 30 multiplied by 12, sorry. That's 360 SLP every single, uh, every single day on top of the 50 from arena mode. So, I mean, adventure mode. So we're gonna add 50 to that and we're gonna add 25 from the bonus. That's 435 SLP a day. We multiply that by 0.17. That's how much money you're making a day if you have a full setup team and you have, and you have, what is it, 20 axes in your setup. Now, here, like, if you were to get 20 axes, you would probably buy a bunch of bad axes, I would assume, and you got, like, a couple teams set up, like, a reptile bug plant team and, like, a plant aqua aqua team, because you're going to be focusing on arena mode. So you do that, and then you get all that stuff, and then you'd buy a bunch of really, like, $200, $120 axes, and then you'd get those in your team, you get 20 of them, and then, first of all, it's a lot of money. On, like, I'm not going to act like getting the 20 axes is not an insane amount of money, but you can make this, I'm just letting you guys know, you can make this much money a day from playing Axie Infinity now with the Arena Mode update, which I think is absolutely insane. And... You don't even need, like, this money for it to be insane. Like, making $14 a day from playing a video game is insane in of it itself. And if you're splitting this uh, with your uh, person, with your scholar, you'd be making $7.22 a day, which is absolutely insane for not putting any money into the game and just putting your time into it. And you could just be playing a video game and watching TV. And you could be doing it mindlessly, like how I do it. And you just click a couple buttons in adventure mode. And then you play arena mode until you get five wins. And then you're basically set up. And that's the money for the day. Like, it's insane that you can make this money from Axie Infinity. And I think crypto gaming is the future of making money in this world. So, you guys better get get ready for what's going to about to hit. Because I think in 2022, it's going to get even crazier. And once Illuvium's out, oh my gosh, dude. The crypto world's going to go insane. Alright, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to the three people that subscribe to me, even though two of them are my family. <laughs> but that's how every channel starts. You have to have your family subscribe to you. And thank you to the 19 people that viewed my last video. And I got 1.2 hours of watch time from that video, so you guys must have liked it. And if you guys want to see more videos, like it. Just let me know in the comment section. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. If you guys want me to go more in depth on anything that you saw in this video, just comment it down below. If you guys want anything from me, just comment it. If you have any questions, I will answer them. So just let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to make a video on, any questions, anything like that. Just comment it down below. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.